Here we are in my IT lab in the course materials section. I just wanted to show you what your e-textbooks look like. So when you're in the course materials, if you click e-textbooks, we require skills for success and visualizing technology. If you click on visualizing technology, then click here. I recommend coming up to the top left menu and clicking the three parallel lines. We call this the hamburger icon. This will bring up your table of contents so you can more easily use this e-text. For each table of contents, if you click on the start of a chapter, it will open up all of the subtopics within that chapter. You are required to read this textbook. In each subtopic, you'll see terms in bold, underline, and with a red comment mark. Click the term and write down the term and the definition. You will use these terms and definitions to help you succeed on the VT quizzes and on our multiple choice final. The other required material is the Skills for Success textbook. So click the title to open it. Again, click here. You might get a prompt to ask you to allow Adobe Flash Player to run, and then the e-text e e will open. You can use this Skills for Success book to help you complete the greater projects. So this is considered your manual for using Microsoft Office. There are a couple different ways you can use this manual. On the left hand side, you can click the folder that matches the application that you're working on for your grader project. For example, Microsoft Word. If we click on Word, you can click the drop down arrow next to that folder and drill down to different tasks. For example, you're going to be creating a letter and a memo in your grader projects. So if you come to that title, click the drop down, and then you can see some of the different skills that you will be practicing in your grader project. Another way that you can use this resource is to sort of work backwards. So if you open your grader project, and open your Skills for Success book. Scroll all the way down on this left-hand menu to the appendix. And the appendix will give you all of the different skills and the page number that shows you how to complete that skill. So for example, I know in one of your grader projects you need to insert a footer. You can click on these page numbers and then from the appendix, you'll be taken to the specific steps to do that task. So it's a great resource for you to do your grader projects correctly the first time and saves you some time in the long run.